for both you guys, since that game on at Iowa on Saturday, when you got back to practice, what was the first thing that coach started to emphasize and the first thing you guys started trying to work on? Uh, I had to say it was probably mainly getting back to how we were early on in the season. You know, a lot of our defensive stuff, um, playing tough, you know, knowing our assignments, you know, really working on us as a, a group before even worrying about Maryland. Why do you think, Joey, why do you think maybe you guys, why was that emphasized? Why do you think you guys have maybe gotten away from some of that these last couple of games? Uh, I just think that winning in the Big Ten is hard. Um, it, people talk about it being the best conference in the country and um, especially winning on the road. So uh, we knew that uh, playing tough and more together, like that's that's important to us, and that's how we have to play every time to win. And uh, we just needed a little bit of a reminder, I think. Keyshawn, do you feel like you guys are playing much differently than you did at the beginning of the season? Like, what what do you see is different right now in the three game, in the last three games, and we're in the first thirteen? Um, we just, I don't know. We just got to find our rhythm again. I mean, to be honest, like once we find our rhythm again, you know, get back to our, uh, you know, really executing on the offensive end and really getting up into guys on defense and really playing defense the way we know how to play defense, I think everything will be fine. I mean, it's on us. It's nothing the coaches can do. It's really more on us as players, as our unit. <laughs> how did that sort of get off track to you? Like, did you, did you notice it happening in the moment? Uh, I want to say in a moment, but as the more and more we don't watch film of the last three games, the more and more we don't notice that we we haven't we've been off a little bit. So I mean that's what we've been doing since the Iowa game. We've just been focusing on us being who we are, getting back to being that tough-minded team that uh, everybody always said that we were when it comes to playing tough. Keyshawn, uh, when, when you got here, you talked a lot about trying to figure out how you fit in to, to the team both from a leadership standpoint and sort of what you need to be on the floor, facilitator, scorer, whatever that might, whatever the team might need. Just where do you feel like you are right now? Like you're sort of halfway through the year. Do you feel like you have a firm grasp on, on what this team needs from you? And the last couple of games, just like how, how are you feeling with the way you've played? Uh, the last couple of games, I've played bad. I mean, that's just the way to put it. But this team needs me to be aggressive on both ends. And uh, they, my teammates told me that. My coaches done told me that. So I have to be aggressive at all times on both ends of the floor. And that's what I'm going to do. That, that has seemed, you've said that before, and, and we've certainly seen that on, on some nights. Um, why do you think it's fluctuated a little bit from game to game or, or week to week for you? Mm, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't have that answer. Uh, I don't have an answer, but I just know uh, from here on out, I just got to be aggressive and stop thinking about the, everything else. Just be aggressive and help, help my team win. And when you and I spoke <coughs> the, at the beginning of the season, you had mentioned in previous stops when the team wasn't playing well, maybe you didn't handle that the best way. It, it wore on you a little bit. You have a team that's lost three in a row. Do you feel like it's wearing on you at all as an individual, or do you feel like you've taken steps where that's not a problem for you anymore? No, nah, I done been on teams that we done lost eight games in a row. Three games to me ain't nothing. And we can easily fix this, and it's early in the Big Ten uh, season. And it's my job to be a leader, and it's my job to help the younger guys understand how long this season is and how quickly we can turn it around. <clears throat> Obviously, I think that the commonality in these last three games is Caleb going to the bench in foul trouble. When he does that, what's the mentality of you guys to – to keep the offense. He's obviously a big part of what you guys do offensively, but you can't just stop scoring when, when he's not out of there. How do you how do you guys keep that going moving forward if he gets in foul trouble? Uh, just got to be more uh, aggressive and uh, we got to make more plays. We can't, uh, when Caleb goes out, we can't rely on him at all times to score. You know, other people have to step up, including myself, When uh, especially when Caleb goes out, because when he's in the game, he draws so much attention. And by the time when he comes out, hopefully we can keep him out of foul trouble. But when he does go out, by that time the floor should be open for myself, CJ, other go uh, the guards, and K uh, Kyle, and other players that make plays as well. When uh, Caleb, we just all gotta be more aggressive and just make shots. With, even when he's in the game, I mean, could that help kind of get you guys in a rhythm 
earlier and, and, and if he needs to sit for whatever reason? I mean, is it something you can be more aggressive from the get-go as opposed to waiting till you know, he's out or, or you need more offense, I guess? Yeah, uh, just playing off Caleb even when he in the game, you know, because he draws so much attention, you know, especially in Iowa, you know, he was struggling and others were struggling or, or however it go. We play off Caleb and if they trap him, we got uh, guards got to attack the gaps, you know, try to get downhill, find our shots on the kickouts when um, he don't have a shot or something like that. But yeah, we can be more aggressive even when he in the game as well. Basketball season is about a grind. Uh, have you guys lost a little bit of the grind? Did, I don't want to say things came too, too easily too early, but did you think that things would just maybe start coming to you as the, as the record really was shining? And then the last three, maybe you just kind of lost that a little? I think that uh, this was kind of this team's first sense of a little adversity. And, uh, and I don't think it's because we took a step back or anything like that. I think it just it happens. And then, like you said, it's a grind in a long season. And um, you know it's hard to win basketball games. And uh, we're figuring that out now. And we're, we've been putting in the work, you know, whether we're winning or losing. Um, so. How much did you guys hear Coach Holman talk about turnovers and cutting down on that over the last couple of games? It, Keyshawn, you said the first thing that you guys talked about was defense, but offensively, that's been something that slowed you guys down a little bit. He's been preaching it a lot the past three games. I mean, last game we had, what, 21 turnovers? And it don't matter what league you in, having 21 turnovers, you can't win. Um, I know that. Our team know that. So just he's been talking about being smarter with the ball, you know, making the right reads. So he's really been preaching that on the offensive end. And, um, making sure that we know that we cannot have those type of silly turnovers that we had, especially in Iowa. Yeah, has there been a common theme with that? I mean, what causes those to, to pop up the way they do? Uh, lack of focus, I'd say. Uh, you know, lack of focus, um, not reading the game the right way, you know, sometimes forcing things that's not there instead of making easy plays. Joe, you talked about things you guys have worked on, like playing smarter, playing harder, things like that. And you also mentioned that, obviously, the Big Ten is tough. Some of those things, like effort and, and intelligence, don't fluctuate based on who you're playing. Why do you think those things specifically have been have been lacking a little bit the last couple of games? Uh, it's not that they've been lacking in the games. It's more of uh, we go through spells. Um, you know, in, in the Rutgers game, for example, you know, maybe we weren't as ready for how physical and tough they were going to be. Not that we played any less physical or tough, but, but they kind of brought it to us. And that was just something that, like I kind of said before, opened our eyes to um, the Big Ten and, and the nature of this league and how much tougher and more physical, even if we are playing hard, you know, it's never hard enough and, and uh, it's never tough enough. How do you think lessons like that might help you going forward now? Uh, I think you know it's it it's tough to to take these lessons, but as long as we're learning from them, then uh, that'll help us in the future. And and uh, you know it's something that that we know we need to work on, and we've been working on. We talked to a few guys after you lost two, and you know, Chris Holtman had never lost three in a row here. Now we're at three. You mm -hmm. say it's early and and whatnot, and it obviously is, but. You don't want this to spiral out of control. What do you guys, as as upperclassmen and leaders, kind of do, and with some of the other guys, to to make sure that it doesn't become four, five, six losses? And you mentioned eight losses. Obviously, you don't want something like that. Well, first, we gotta keep everybody confident and believing that we can, you know, turn this thing around. Because once you lose the confidence and everybody stop believing, then that's when things will really spiral out of control. So that's first and foremost. But uh, as our our team, we have a great spirit about everything. We hit a uh, we hit a rut, and the only way we get out of it is if we come together as a team, starting tomorrow, and play like we know we can play, and win this game on tomorrow. Joey, how much is some of that maybe falling on your shoulders a little bit? Obviously, you don't play a lot during the games, but when Keyshawn talks about having a great spirit and keeping guys believing, how important is or how much do you take ownership of some of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, being a senior upperclassman, being a leader on this team, I think it's important. Uh, you know, Coach Holt has always emphasized that one of my responsibilities is keeping this team positive and upbeat. And um, we talked a lot about uh, staying the course. Um, it's a long year, and and. We know that we've put in the time and the effort to, to be a good team and just 
uh, stay the course, stay positive, and keep working hard, and, and things should change. What has that challenge been like this week? Um, you know, honestly, you'd think it would be hard, but we got a great group of guys, and um, they're very energetic, very positive, and always willing to put in the work, and we've had probably two of our best practices these past two days in terms of competing and, and playing hard and, and being up, being positive. You've gotten some minutes, in, uh, important minutes uh, earlier in the season, and I know I think like you said maybe Musa had told you you were going to play some of those at some point in the season. What has that meant to you to, to you've gotten to play a little bit more than maybe you had prior in your career and, and hold on some important minutes? Uh, I mean, it's been great, especially when we're winning and stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I came here in my freshman year not expecting to play a single meaningful minute in my four years, and but at the same time knowing that if my name was called, like I'm more than capable of doing it. And, and the coaches have told me over and over again that they're not afraid to put me in there. It's just a matter of if I get the opportunity. And, and I'm always um, staying ready, because if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. For both of you guys, we did see a lot of guys play maybe more than we had seen uh, at the Iowa game. And some guys contributing in some different ways. What is that like in a game when the roles are jumbled the way that they are, and, and you're seeing some guys get some extra opportunities? How did you guys, or what did you guys make of that? I think it was great. You know, you got to see Justin play. You get to see some of the things Justin can do. Jay played a lot, and you just, and you know, just show all the hard work that them two has been uh, been doing all season, regardless of the fact of how many minutes they played or not. And like Joe said, like they work. Everybody works hard on our team, and I feel like. Jay and uh, Justin especially really showed that they can play here on this level against Iowa. Even though we didn't get the result we wanted, they showed that they would play hard, do the things the coaches ask, and play the right way.